All right, we're checking out the only game where the key to life is drowning to death. It's Happy Glass. I feel like this name is one giant lie and I need a refund. As you can see, our glass on the bottom right there is not happy. And for good reason because I'm the one that has to draw. Actually, I think I can draw whatever I want. So am I allowed to draw like a tsunami coming for him? I know there's a bunch of, I don't know, it looks like urine colored Kool-Aid that will eventually oh, try and fill his glass up. So if I go like this and I connect all these, these areas here, well now it just looks like the bottom half of an alligator jaw. <laughs> you know what, whatever. Uh, oh, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe Gray did something right. How can this be? How much do I need to fill it with? Like I ended up keeping a lot of mashed potatoes back over here by the alligator jaw. Oh, apparently you have to fill them up all the way. If I draw like a word, will it work? If I just say like, help. Actually, we'll do a whole sentence. Me. <laughs> this is what it's like to be inside of any one of my games. Come on, I just, I just want enough liquefied cheese doodles to actually beat the board. It's right there! All right, I got it. I literally have it. This is 100% going to work. It's a chainsaw, okay? The answer to all things is always a chainsaw. Here's the handle. This is the primer bulb over here. You know what that is. And you have the internal working of the chain, like so. Here's the shroud. And yeah, that is a, that is probably the worst chainsaw anyone's ever shown in their life. Oh, I can finally sell my orange juice. I love how it's like you drew something stupid, have one star. Now this looks like it's just falling straight down. There's really not too much I have to do. As a matter of fact, I can probably just draw a drunken stick man. There, you see he's drunk though. It's his arms and then he's just like projectile vomiting on the ground over here. I know it more or less looks like Rapunzel. <laughs> It looks like just like he has really strong hair and it's holding him up. He never skips hair day. One star, what do you know? I feel like no matter what I do, I have to draw something that's incredibly inefficient. Like right here, I decided what I'm gonna do. Can you, can you, can you tell what it is yet? It could be like a pipe, I guess, or maybe a really poorly drawn trombone. This is actually a bed. And here is a stick figure, okay, in the bed. But this stick figure has been stabbed to death. There is the knife. All right, run it. Okay. Oh yeah, we're catching a lot of liquid here. The stick figure is definitely drowning to death. Although if he's already dead from, from the stabbing, I guess this is kind of so. Oh my God, I actually won. <laughs> I can't believe I got it. I was gonna say, it's just like a superfluous amount of extra murder. That's a phrase I never thought I would say in my life. So half of the work is already done for me because it's going to hit this origami piece over here and then, you know, fly off the pencil that some kid broke the tip to. And we're fairly close to the king, the king, glass here. I'm just kind of curious. Can I draw like a, like a, almost like a ski jump? Like if I go like this and then it like jumps like this, will it, will it have enough, have like enough speed to do it? Oh no. Oh, I didn't want that there. Oh, it's like a giant gouge right in the middle of my ski slope. You know what? This is a, this is a diamond back ski slope. It's fine. All right. There's the back portion to the ski slope. Hey, okay, like that there. Here's the gondola lifts that are in the air, dropping everyone off at the ski slope. All right, do it. Uh, oh yeah, it totally flies off it. Perfect. All right, well now I kind of need to use a little bit of trigonometry to make this work. Oh my God, I have an idea. Uh, all right, if it falls straight down, here's the plan, here's the plan. Watch this, stick figure, okay. But, stick figure, is dabbing. All right, look at this. Epic dab. Oh no, it's not a big enough dab hole. Slightly shorter stick figure is dabbing. I felt really bad. My stick figure apparently had too much height. All right now it doesn't really look like they're dabbing. It looks like they're sneezing. I mean, I guess they could just sneeze all of the vile orange juice onto this poor thing. I don't know how I got two stars for that. Uh, do these balls move? Hold on, I just want to see something. No, they don't move at all. Did I even need to do anything? I passed this by doing nothing. I love how literally when I'm not trying, I get a hundred percent score. You know what? Yeah, give me a free. Oh yeah, big money, big money. Okay, average money. Listen, I'm drawing a stick figure, giving another stick figure an RKO. 
There's the arm around the neck. RKO out of nowhere! And we have a winner of that board with the RKO. <laughs> I know it's like- Gray, are you drawing the word death? Yes, I am. But it's weird because I have to put like a little umbrella over death. Otherwise, it won't actually do anything. Although the D doesn't really look like a D, it kind of looks like a really sad lowercase N. My death got a three-star rating? Wait a minute, that sounds really bad. So wait, do I have to fill up both of them now? I wasn't expecting to actually have to work for my money. All right, you ready for this? Stick figure doing tricep dips. Oh my God, my stick figure landed inside of the glass. He's like, sticks to landing. <laughs> I know I can make this work. I just gotta put his arms like more like, maybe like this. There, he's got a little hand now, too. Stick figures usually do have hands. I'm usually just too lazy to draw them. Right, there's his little stick neck. Oh, yeah. He's actually... Uh-oh. Well, this is a problem. I let go of my pointer, and now he's just half of a stick man. Okay, stick man hands. Boom. Stick man head. Bo oh, his head's actually getting smaller as time goes on. Unbearably long stick man feet with really big stick man calves. Okay. Um, well, we might actually not get enough fluid over to the guy on the left. All right, I got good news and I got bad news, Mr. Stickman. You're actually way more valuable to me as half of a stickman. You don't get any legs. Bam! Three stars for half a stickman. I know you might be like, Gray, is that like diluted blood going into the glass? Why, yes it is. It's like a more depressed version of strawberry. It's like Sadberry. So he falls now. I have to hold him up. So if I just like, hold on. If I just give him like a chair, like literally a dinner chair. Here, watch. All right, here's a little chair leg. And right, here's the other chair leg. Right, here's like the padded seat. Here's the backing right there. There. Whoa! All right, new plan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, ready? We're gonna start with this. This should totally hold him. All right. I just want to see if this works. That didn't work at all. I forgot the way gravity affects things. Is this a fixed object up here? Like, am I allowed to do this? I feel like this would be cheating. Like, does this count? I totally count! I can just hang him! Oh, this is, this is the moment I've been waiting for. All right, now, watch this. I can actually draw my alligator mouth. There it is. I know he's got like a really, really oversized bottom jaw. He's a Floridian alligator. This is actually very normal for them. All right. Yeah! He has to die for me to win. Look, man, you want to make an omelet? You, you got to sell, sell a few souls, souls okay? okay? I kind of feel like the grossly oversized toilet bowl was the obvious thing to do. It is going to get us where we need to go. All right, stick figure is using his legs, see, to hold on to this. Got one arm over there. I don't know where his head is. I'm gonna put his head like vaguely over here. His, his head kind of looks more like a teardrop. This does not look like a stick figure. Now it just looks like a lasso. You know what? Whatever. We're lassoing the cup. The lasso completely worked. Ready for this? Going all the way. Going all the way with this. My finger itches so bad right now, but I can't take it off the mouse. Otherwise, I'll just end up with a stick figure with no point. Stick figure with a shotgun. Gonna save the day. Shotgun right there. Looks sort of like a gigantic toothbrush. Actually, you know what, YouTube? If you don't like the fact that it is a shotgun, it is indeed a gigantic toothbrush. So now what is this? Half of it is just gonna go out this way. The other half looks like it'll be just fine. You wanna know the best way to win this? Watch this. Now that I know that you can draw on this thing, watch, watch, there's no reason not to draw on this. You rate 100% this? Bam. No issue. All right, so it's always like- Great, you gotta draw as little as possible. I can do that, watch this. You ready? There, it's a glass holster. Oh, whoa, whoa! I mean, technically it's over the line. There, it's a glass holster with an extra little thing to kind of keep it on track. Three stars. I wanted to try and draw a, a Pac-Man, but all it looks like is one of the Among Us characters. Like this is the giant mask right here and that's their sad little legs. Great, how are you possibly going to figure this one out? Easy. Dead body, pool of blood, right there. Watch. Easy. So what do you have to do now? We have to stop the balls from falling down? Okay, well, what happens if they do? Do I like explode or something? Now I'm kind of curious. I love oranges. Here, what happens if they fall? 
Oh, it blocks the space for the liquefied My Little Ponies. So if I draw a gigantic hand, everything will be fine. That could have also been a turkey tail. I have a tendency to manage to work turkeys into almost everything I do. Actually, you know what? We're drawing a turkey. I don't even care. Somehow it's going to complete the next level. I guarantee it. Oh, it's totally completing the level. Watch. All right, Ray. Here's a little turkey leg. That's the first turkey leg. All right, here's the other turkey leg. I know it doesn't look like the turkey legs that you would get at like a medieval fair. Just give me a second. All right, here's the here's the obese turkey body. And then we have the turkey head along with the turkey gobbler that hangs off of the neck. And we have the gigantic turkey tail. And I am literally out of draw. Oh, I am not out of drawing. I can do whatever I want. You know what? This turkey is going to fall. Uh, so I'm going to give him a walker. The turkey has a walker. There we go. There's the two little legs and there's like the hand holds over here. Yeah, the turkey's fine. Turkey's fine. I know you may be like, what is that, Gray? It's actually supposed to be Robin from Batman and Robin. The only thing he did was literally ruin this entire board for me. Well, figure this one out. Put the arm there, put the other arm here because he's got to hold on. Our drunk stick figure is back. This time... He's projectile vomiting this way to save the world. <laughs> Don't ask me why this works, but it does. Okay, is it just me or are the Florida oranges slowly mutating and getting bigger? Actually, I think I know exactly how to do this. So if I'm right, the water is going, well, I call it water. How do you deal with Floridian oranges? You already know how. Watch this. You ready for this? Palm tree. Oh yeah, okay, it kind of just looks like a sad tentacle. It will be a palm tree. All right, now it's mostly just a scribble. My palm tree looks really depressed. This is supposed to be a palm tree, you understand. Here, let me draw a coconut. There, there's, there's a couple actually, there's another one. All right, now it just looks like a palm tree with eyes. All right, depressed palm tree, do your thing. Look at that, the palm tree, <laughs> and of course it fell to its death. <laughs> so the only thing I'm trying to do here is circumvent like falling over and breaking my neck. You ready for this? And normally I would say, don't skip leg day or maybe like planks are the best exercise for this. But instead we're gonna be doing push-ups. We're gonna be doing push-ups with really big hands, except they're not really push-ups. They're, they're literally like, I'm actually pushing upward as in like my hand is pushing upward, All right? Here's my, here's my head being, my neck being broken over the stress ball here. That looks good. Draw myself some hair. There we go. And a nice smile on my face. I'm not gonna have any eyes because we don't need eyes where we're going, but also because I don't think I can draw them without making my head look like a pile of spaghetti. All right, do it, baby. Look, I Okay, <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that to work quite as good as it did. <laughs> All right, so the pool of freshly juiced human beings comes down the slide and then it ricochets off here and then you have one single orange. Now this may look difficult, but it's actually not. All right, watch this. We're gonna draw. Yeah, there we go. And right there. Uh-huh. I just barely got the word help in. That makes me so happy. All right, do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot. All right, maybe it ricocheted a little bit too far. I thought it was going to kind of, you know, go, like, not quite resist the effects of gravity quite so strongly. Obviously, human-based orange juice and gravity don't play along too well. All right, so clearly what I should have had, you know what, we're not gonna use an, we're not gonna use an H this time. Actually, we're not gonna use a help this time. I'm gonna use the word I should have used in the first place. All right, see, there's a Y. I'll come down this way. All right, there we go. We're still having E's in here, you understand. Oh, wait, what? My yeet! <laughs> it's just ye. <laughs> Actually, it looks like YV. I won this panda glass. How come the glasses are always so depressed? This panda glass is like, it's because I already know you're going to draw something stupid to try and complete this level. Yes, you are correct. So what we're gonna draw, give me like a scene out of uh, Mission Impossible here. See, it's Tom Cruise. He's sliding down the rope. Here's his Mission Impossible gun. Actually, it looks more like a scythe. I wonder if I can get my full yeet in over here. It was supposed to be like a word bubble, almost like a comic, but it kind of just looks like a giant growth that's coming out from poorly drawn Tom Cruise. 
There is the appropriate yeet, finally. All right, Glass, if you're not in danger, you will be in a second. <laughs> Oh God. Actually, I think I can still make this work. He's just a lot shorter now. This is actually probably kind of realistic considering Tom Cruise's actual height. So what I need here is a bunch of gunshots going up this way, I guess. Yeah, like that. All right, you know what? Tom Cruise is also Thor here. That's basically what's happening. He's also getting in the way of me actually completing this thing. In the end, I had to go with poorly drawn Godzilla vomiting his radiation at the ball. I think that will literally work. <laughs> of course, it worked the best. Well, I started trying to make a glass happy and I ended with Godzilla vomiting radiation onto an orange. Makes total sense. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Happy Glass. The next time, stay foxy. Much love.